Google Forms, adding items to your form. For this assignment, you are required to have seven questions using three or more different question types and at least one open-ended question using text or paragraph text for a total of eight questions. The form wizard already has two sample questions set up to begin. Select Edit and view the question options. There is a question title, help text, question type, and the opportunity to make it a required question. For this example, we're going to have student name. For question title, I've entered name. The help text, please enter your first and last name here, leaving the question type as text and saying, yes, I want this to be a required question. Select done and the question will display. For sample question two, click edit and this time we're going to use the paragraph type. And I'd like to learn a little bit more about each student. In this instance, the question title will be about me. The help desk says, please tell me something about yourself, such as a favorite pet or your hometown. We're leaving paragraph text and I'm choosing to make this required question. Click done. Save. When you finish with the predetermined samples, to add another item, go to the top of the page and select Add Item. This time I'm going to choose Multiple Choice. Note that it displays directly below question number two. There is an opportunity, if you would like, to move the questions around. So as you change your mind or add different questions, they are not required to say in any predetermined order. It's up to you where they display on your form. For the multiple choice question, I'm choosing to ask about your program of study. The question title is Program of Study. Please select your program of study. I'm using multiple choice. The first option is Early Childhood Education. The second, Middle School Language Arts. Click Tab to add another option. You may choose as many as you wish. If you'd like to leave an open-ended option, select Other. When you're finished, Done, and Save. With this many done, we're going to take an opportunity to view this form with the theme already applied. Click on the link at the bottom of the page where it says you can view the published form here. From the previous video, I selected the yellow arrow. We have the title, the introduction, a note that shows your users if something is required, and the questions that we've added previously. Note that at the bottom is your submit button. This is what's going to take your form questions and submit them to a predetermined spreadsheet within Google Docs. Close the window when you're finished. Take time to explore some of the other options such as check boxes, choose from a list. As you enter them and then click edit, the wizard will open up and display what you need to add to your question. Note that there are two other options available. You may always duplicate a question or if you've determined you don't want it any longer, you may delete it. save your work. Once you've added all of the necessary form components, take time once again to save and preview your work. If you are satisfied your form meets all of the rubric requirements, save your project and move on to the next tutorial.